you know, Cuba's big. You know, the cruise lines are starting to go over there. Yeah, Europeans everywhere. I think they're going to need more cars, more classic cars to use as taxis. And I want to be in the middle of that and get some old cars down there. I don't think the ones coming back are going to be worth it. But I think sending them down there for taxis, etc., would be the way to go. I've been told that Castro put a lot of cars away and they haven't been seen in decades. I'm going to go to Havana, Cuba very soon. But in the meantime, we have a great Cuban-American population down here in Miami. I'm going to go right around the corner of the Little Havana and spend the day and have a great time. I'm heading to Cali Ocho. We got the team in the car and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one and we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! I've come down to Little Havana to find some artwork to put in my office if I can. Something that relates to what I do. I'm looking for something more collectible, more car-oriented. I heard of a place that deals strictly in artwork by Cubans. It's supposed to be very good, and I'm going to check it out. Can I tell you anything about this piece? I'm Ted Vernon. Stacy Conde. Pleasure nice to Stacey. meet you. Hi. This guy doesn't like dogs, does he? <laughs> this painting is by a guy named Enrique Toledo. He is a Cuban painter, and it's about the evil things men do to get to a place that doesn't actually exist. That explains the poor dog. Our art gallery is a contemporary art gallery. We specialize in Cuban contemporary art from artists that are both on and off the island. So you have a lot of connections in Havana. I do. Well, I am looking to crack that market open for me. But I also want to buy a painting that would be a Cuban painting, something to deal with automobiles, classic automobiles. OK. I have one painting in the gallery right now. Um, that's being worked on, I can show you. It features a car. Andres, this is Ted. Hi. Andres, how are you? Very nice to meet you. A miserable <laughs> Roddy. Yeah. Wow. It has to do with a magazine that uh, is no longer a uh, publication from Cuba. This is about the, the race car driver, Fangio, who was kidnapped by Fidel in 1958. This would look great in my office. What price would you give me for something like this? For something like this, we're looking at about $7,000. I would like to bring this to the office and look at it. And I also have a Spanish client coming okay. who's tough. Mm -hmm. And I speak no Spanish. And I think that you could probably wind him around your little finger. All right. And I'd like you to meet him, and maybe we could earn together. Why don't we lock down a time, and we'll bring the painting over, and we'll talk to your client. And maybe make something big happen. Beautiful. Okay. Sounds great. Stacy hit me at 6. I'm at 4. I want to look at it in my office and see where we're at. I'm looking forward to seeing how she does with the Spanish client I have coming. He's a tough client, but I think that she'll stand right up to him and get it done. I've been hanging out in Little Havana today, enjoying myself, and this guy called me that has a 55 Chevy. That excites me. 55 Chevys are gold. See what I can do. Bienvenido, Cuban crafters. I'm still working on my Spanish. You in Little Havana, you don't speak any Spanish? Not there yet. Yes. I'm, I'm looking for Richie, please. Richie, sure. Would you like some coffee? Love some. Let me go get him for you. Oh, thank you. This is the real Cuban coffee. I have a 55 Chevy Bel Air parked outside. This car has been in the family for 40 years. It was my grandfather's car. He passed away not too long ago. These cars are very tough to maintain. You have to be on top of them a lot. I'm always really busy here in the cigars, so I have no time for the car. Mm. Hey, Richie. Hey, Richie, how you doing? Don't worry, Richard said it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you have a 55 Chevy to show me? Yes, sir, I have it parked outside. But before we see the car, let me show you the store. I would like that. I like cigars. Perfect. This is an amazing place. We're called Cuban Crafter Cigars. We do handmade cigars. We have humidors, cutters, accessories, free Cuban coffee, barbershop, shoe shining, lounge in the back, everything. So in here, we sell the cigars already pretty much made. This is where you dry them out? Yes, sir. The ones that they're ready, we put them in the front. Mm. And the ones that they're still cured, we put them in the back. This is serious. That's a big cigar. And it's really packed. That's how it should be, because if, you have, if, it's, not, if it's not packed properly, it's going to burn on even. Yeah, this is the quality. How would you make a quality cigar? Of course. Wow. This is me. This is the size. This Whoa. is me. 
This is amazing, and I could talk cigars all day, okay. but uh, I came here to buy a Chevy if you want to sell it. If I do have to sell it, I'll probably sell it for 16.5. It's an interesting number. Let's go look at it. It's a convertible, right? No, sir, hardtop. Uh, well, it better be nice. It's a pretty 55. Yes, sir. That's amazing. And your grandfather bought this new? Yes, actually, that was his first car. This is not a hardtop. This is a sedan. Hardtop has clear. It's clear, there's no posts, and it has too many doors. Convertible's worth the most, then the two-door, then the four-door. In Cuba, these cars are very popular. I use them for taxis. Yeah. This ain't Cuba. I gotta sell it. We were a little Havana, though. <laughs> You're right. When I saw Ted's eyes, it started sparkling. Let's see what happens. I want to hit him at 16.5. If I get 8,000, I'll be happy. It is hard. I mean, he was born in 1995, and that car was built in 55. He doesn't really know what it is. He called it a hard top. Hardtop doesn't have a post between the front and the back. It's not as critical as it used to be, but it is less with a post. I think 65 is a reasonable number for me to buy it, shape it, and resell it. How about 12.5? It's almost twice the money. I mean, maybe I go 500 more, I go seven, but I'm done. I just can't do any more now. Let's see what I can do. I think I'm being fair. Manny, bring it up, please. Thank you, sir. All right. I made you a little custom cigar. Just for you. Oh, man. South Beach Classics. This is quality, too, huh? Yes, sir. Made right here in Miami. That's pretty smart. 8,000. Done deal. With the cigars. Yes, sir. <laughs> Next Good time cigars. I want them, I can just call you an order? Exactly. Whatever you want. When we started at 12,000 and went down to 10,000, I knew the best I could do was 8,000 but I need a little push of cigars just to get the deal done. You know, Little Havana is my kind of place. They got the clothing, the hats, the guayabaras, the cigars, old cars. My father never told me, but I might have some Cuban in me because I feel so at home here. Hey, how you doing? Good. How's the food? Real good, I just had the uh, turkey melt. How the fries? Pretty good. Okay. Good. I'll have what he's having. Thank you, sir. Man, that's good. I'm walking around Little Havana, and I came across a really cool food truck. The diner's going to take a while to do, so I invited him over to my place. We could at least have him be there as an interim, where he can make money meanwhile, and we can make money. Ted Vernon. How you doing, South man? Beach Classics. How you doing? All right. Your food is wonderful. Thank you. And I have an idea. We got about 300,000 people a day going by. What I'm thinking possibly is some kind of a commission deal. Maybe we do a split right down the middle and we uh, make it happen. 50% is way too much. Every year we want best food truck in Miami. Really? We have a restaurant now, so I mean the number's gonna have to look pretty good to me. For me to wanna. I'll give you 30 days, you keep 100%. 100%. And then you'll see what can happen there. Cause it'll just build. Cause your food's good. Deal. You don't have to talk anymore. I don't want to beat you. I want to be fair. I want to be a partner. And then we'll talk about 60, 40, or 50, 50, whatever's fair. Okay. All right? Food trucks are really, really cool, and they're getting more and more popular. I mean, this is the business to get into right now. I'd have been fine with 60, 40, but he gave me an even better deal. 100% for the first month, and then we talk after that. That's pretty dope. I've had a great day down here in Little Havana. This has been really a lot of fun. I got some Cuban seed cigars. I met and talked to a lot of very nice people. Met a lovely lady with a uh, Cuban store I went into. I got some clothes, some cool, cool clothes. I bought a 55 Chevy. Great car. And to top it off, I even got a food truck to come and fill the space until the bus is ready. I even learned Spanish today. A bunch of shop owners kept saying to me, Vayate de aquí, Vayate de aquí. I think that means welcome to our store, but that was pretty much Vayate de aquí everywhere I went. Everyone seemed to be really happy when they said it. It's funny, Little Havana's five miles from me, and I haven't been here in so long, and Havana is 150 miles from me. It's amazing, and this place is great. It's all good today, man, we had a blast. Beats working. I got this Spanish gentleman coming that's interested in the 41 Ford convertible. I'm not very good at Spanish, I'm horrible. 
but Stacy, of course, is excellent at Spanish. I don't want to hurt Marcus's feelings, but I have a feeling that this guy, he comes on a bit snobby. Maybe if I put him with Stacy, who handles herself very classy, maybe it'll be a good deal we can get it done. Stacy, this is the gentleman I was telling you about. Okay. And he is a serious buyer, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'll greet him, and then I'm going to give him to you. How much do we want for the car? We got a price at 65. 50 would be great. Okay. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Hola. Hola. Hola, Stacy Conde, encantado. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? ¿Quién es él? Él es el dueño del lugar. Ah, ok. ¿Qué? Jefe. ¿Qué ¿No habla español? No, I'm sorry. Ah, ok, bueno, yo, yo prefiero hablar contigo. Uh, he says he's pleased to meet you, and uh, he's open to a conversation. Seemed to be a nice feeling of camaraderie there. I was very comfortable with the guy. Uh, we're asking 65,000. 65,000. 65,000. A mí no me gusta él. Déjame tratar contigo. Vamos a hablar. He said he likes you very much, but he's a little concerned about the price. It's a good thing Ted's Spanish is not very strong, as the customer is being pretty mean. V8, original. Very nice. Él es serio. Dile que pare eso. He loves the sound. Me está molestando. He loves the sound effects. Yeah, I thought that was good. I've made good motor sounds. He liked that, I think. I understood why Ted made those noises, but I don't think the customer was too fond of them. It's very original, flathead V8. Uh -huh. Ocho. Sí, ve ocho. Bueno, ya veo que sabe contar, cuenta ocho. He's very impressed with your Spanish. Trata de hablarme en español sin saber lo que está diciendo. I think he understood me perfectly. And this is not rusty. This car is very, very solid, original. And, and for $65,000, he can take it home. Yo de ninguna manera hubiera pagado 65 mil dólares por el carro. Con la condición que está, mm -hmm. 40. He's offering 40,000 in the condition that it's in. You know, so far the guy offered 40 grand, which isn't stupid. I'm at 65. I think he's going to come up and we'll get a deal done. That's my thoughts. I have great confidence in Stacy. She's a classy lady. I think it's going to happen. Why don't you just hit him at 55? Let's get done. He's a very nice man. 55 grand, let it be done. Okay. Él está diciendo por 55 podemos cerrar la venta y, y ya. 55. Dile que. I comprendo this. Sí. You both are understanding each other very well in sí. the sign language department. 55 no puedo. Vamos no. para 50. He's saying he can't do 55, but he can close the deal at 50. You know, tell him I think we have a friendship started here, and I like him a lot also. Okay. Because he's been so nice with me. Okay. But I'll do it. Como está un caballero con él, él va a hacer la venta en 50. 50? 50. 50. Done. Done. Ahora se puede ir? He says he can't wait to do more deals with you. It's great, man. It's great. Man, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Gracias. Good. Estoy contentísimo con el carro. Qué bueno que estés y estaba ahí. Stacy did the deal just like I thought she would. It's funny, I couldn't understand anything. I'll probably have to watch the show to find out what was all said. I don't know. So right now, Ted has 360 cars in his collection and I'm looking to add a painting to that collection. Isn't this fun? This place? is amazing. <laughs> what is happening here? I collect animals. I don't hunt or anything like that, but I just love them. I find them at car shows. Really? Auctions, different places. So aren't? these are all old? Yeah, they're old. They're very old. This is my elephant, by the way. My oh. Elephant. I love my elephant. He heavens. Come on. I love this thing. <laughs> I'm thinking of the picture here. It's perfect. It's is a, it? Yeah, yeah, it's a perfect amount of space. It's big enough, right? Yes, it'll work. It'll absolutely work. Andres, ah, there hey. he is. I'm hoping that you love it. I like the way the colors bounce off the body of the car. Yeah, it's actual silver that I placed on it, so it's gonna change over time. Make a good deal. I'll Try make to bring you a me good a deal. All right, I'll see what so I can do. It's supposed to be my buddy, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I got it. I like it. Do you? I do, yeah. Good. I offered four, and I'll pay you right now. I appreciate that, but this is a $6,000 painting. I'll tell you what, five grand, done. I'll do 55. That's not what I said. <laughs> Come on, five grand. That's a not. That's 55. Not. 55 and we have a deal. 
We have lots of good things to yeah, come. I'm thinking the same thing. You're going to make me some money. There you go. Come Let's on. Let's do it. Thank you. 55. Awesome. I love done. It. Done and done. Thanks. I love it. You're welcome. Glad. Thank you. I bought the painting for 5500 I want her to be happy, get me a Cuba, and help me with the deals in Cuba. And I think it's 500 well spent. It's been a busy day here at South Beach Classics. Food truck came in that I can use until the bus is done. It's a TED deal. I don't have to pay anything to get him here, no expenses, and I get a percentage of what he earns. That makes sense to me. South Beach Classic Cigars, have one. No, thank you. It's difficult enough to breathe as it is. <laughs> so what'd you guys think of Miss Cheesiest? It's like our following. favorite, yeah. Yeah, no, I've been following that truck for years. Yes, you're amazing, bro. Beautiful. You're the man, the man. So Andreas, how much you want for the next painting in the series? I don't deal with anything that has to do with prices, baby. You gotta deal with her. I think I'll wait. Guess who just won, kids? Oh, <laughs> nice. Well done. I got this. 